the BBC has had a report about so-called um, smartphone zombie lights. Um, so basically, this is uh, strips of neon lights um, built into the pavement sidewalk. Um, and it's the purpose, apparently, is so that people can focus on what they're doing when they're going to cross a busy road. Now, this is really... Um, it's quite amusing, but it's also a little bit pathetic that it has come to this. Um, I'm not sure which councils are planning it. I'm not sure if it's in London. I, I think it's somewhere in the UK or at least in West Wales, because the sort of sources would seem to suggest that. But it, it's really unfortunate that it's come to that, and um, it shows just how much so many people in modern society get wrapped up with technology, and particularly smartphones. Um, it's something that I, I've noticed for quite a while, and it's um, it's really unfortunate. Um, you know, that someone could be so foolish that they're not paying basic attention to their surroundings. They're so caught up in whatever they're doing, talking to a friend or playing a game, that they, they can't, they, they're just acting like sheep, and they can't understand that if you're crossing a road, even if you've pressed the button, it's, it's common sense to look where you're going. Um, and I think it partly comes down to a few factors. Um, I think, uh, you know, I don't own a smartphone. I have a very basic, very cheap, this is my phone. It's a little brick. It's, it makes phone calls and text messages. That's literally all it does. And it's not really ideal. I probably will invest in a smartphone when I can afford it. But I don't want to become yet another person who gets so caught up in the smartphone that it, means I'm not aware of my surroundings. That's really unfortunate. But I see this in other contexts too. There is that safety issue because people aren't paying attention to what they're doing. But there's also a basic rudeness issue. And I, I think they can ultimately lead to a very anti-social situation. I was in the cinema the other night, uh, watched a film split. I may do a film review on that depending on time scale of things. But basically... Um, most people were just watching the film, but I noticed this one girl on the same aisle as me had her phone out. Now, it wasn't ringing, it wasn't making noise, but the light was on, which, by the way, is against the cinema policy, um, because people can record the film. But leaving that aside, um, it was quite distracting, because this was quite a bright light, and it, w it wasn't making any noise, but she was just clicking away on it, and then thinking, well, what, why come to the cinema if you're just going to play on your phone? If you're finding the film boring, then leave and let everyone else watch it. Um, so that's really, it's something that I find quite irritating. And it shows this almost childlike indifference to how other people feel. It's, it's You're seeing a situation where adults are behaving like children because they have their little smartphone and they, they think they they then get into this sort of bubble where they think they could do what they want. And it's um, it's irritating. It's like if you organise a house party, quite often, I, I've been in this situation because I, I've been to house parties where this has happened. The whole point about a party is it's meant to be social. People are meant to have a good time and interact with one another. But a 21st century party now, a 2010s party especially, what you will see is you go in, and okay, there will be some interaction, but you're going to see a lot of people texting away on the phone. Now, maybe it could be because they're giving other people direction to the property. That's fine. But when they're out all night and thinking, well, well, what's the point of coming to a party if you're going to spend the whole time socializing on your phone? It, it just seems very sad that people are sitting next to other human beings, but they're focusing on their phone. Um, now, don't get me wrong. I know there are times that it is necessary. Say, for example, you have um, parents who maybe need to check up on a babysitter or a childminder, um, you know, that everything's going okay. There may be a situation where a member of the family or a loved one is, you know, uh, relying on someone else health-wise, and therefore they need to check up on them. But I, I don't think that is in most cases. I think most cases it's just people being antisocial. And I think the unfortunate thing about this is they don't even realise that they are doing it. Um, you know, if I went on a date with a girl and she spent the whole time looking at her phone, 
I would get a little bit irritated and I'd say, well, look, are you interested in me or are you interested in whatever's on that phone? And vice versa. And, you know, if a guy done this and a young lady wanted to you know, spend time with him, I'm sure she would be annoyed. It's about just having respect. Um, and, you know, technology does have great wonders. I get that. There's many, many assets to it. But we have to be very careful not to get into a situation where technology replaces people. That's very important. Um, and I sometimes think that parties in the past, going up to maybe the 1980s, 1990s, had more fun for this reason. Admittedly, it's been quite a long time since I've been to a house party or had one. But, and I'm not saying those I've been to have been really bad or something, I'm not suggesting that, but th this social phenomenon is definitely at play. You know, in the 1950s, and this might make me sound old, but people would get up, they'd listen to music, they'd dance, they'd have a really good time. And that was true right up until the 80s. But with the digital revolution that's happened in the last sort of 20 years, Technology definitely has its assets, totally. But people just need to be self-aware that it does not replace human beings. And so people who are glued to their phone need a bit of a reality check. They need to understand that it's rude, it's antisocial, and it isn't going to replace people. So, you know, great, wonderful, you can do things on your phone, it's great for communication, you can look up the internet, it has many assets. And I've no doubt if I had a smartphone, I'd be spending far more time on it than I do on this. But I would also be aware that other people matter as well. And, and I wouldn't want to become one of these people that get so glued on it. So back to the original story. Um, it just seems unfortunate to spend a lot of money on this to defend people from their own stupidity. If there is a record showing that there's a high number of accidents, it would probably be cheaper to have an advertising campaign or something but in the end of the day if people are going to be stupid the government cannot be a nanny state so let me know your thoughts thanks for watching